schools are slowly returning back to normal, which is great news. As a result, we're finding that clients are asking us to increase our cleaning on campus from even from 27 to as much as 233%. Now that's a huge financial investment by clients. And the question has to be asked, how do they know they're getting what they're paying for? How do they know that the touch points that are so critical that you hear in the media all the time, how do they know that those touch points are getting cleaned each and every night? Fortunately, there's a very simple, cost-effective and easy way to make sure the touch points that are critical for the health and well-being of your staff and students are actually cleaned by your cleaners each and every night. Essentially, you need two items. Number one, you need a UV fluorescent marker. And number two, you need a UV light. Now, to actually see these in action, let's go and have a look at a kitchen and a washroom. It's a very simple process. You take the fluorescent marker pen, ask one of your staff or someone who's leaving the school uh, late. You want to mark the key touch points in your kitchen, uh, your washrooms and toilets uh, before you go home. So essentially, somebody on the team uh, does it before the cleaners come in. In the washrooms, you want to make sure you do the soap dispensers, uh, the taps, and obviously also things like the flush buttons on the toilets. And lastly, you want to mark the door handles and light switches. So once you've marked the touch points you want to make sure are being cleaned, you can now bring them up using the UV torch. So you can see here, there's a mark on the tap. And if we move across here in the kitchen, you can see there's a mark there on the uh, coffee maker. There's a mark on the kettle. And there's a mark here on the microwave. So now we, uh, we go home and the, uh, the wait for the cleaners to come in and do their evening clean. So the cleaners are coming in now and um, they're well aware of the key touch points that uh, need to be cleaned and if they're doing a good job they'll, uh, they'll make sure those touch points are cleaned uh, thoroughly every night. Uh, it's very important as you can see here to use a hospital grade disposable wipe. Uh, I've seen a lot of stories on the media uh, with cleaning companies using microfiber cloths, but the trouble with microfiber is you're just spreading things from one item to another. You need to use regular, uh, a, a, you need to do a regular changeover of these disposable cloths. Make sure they have a hospital grade disinfectant uh, in, in, impregnated into the, uh, the tissue uh, and that the cleaner is changing them on a regular basis. So now we're in the washroom, we're checking the, uh, the washroom and the toilets. You can see here the mug's been removed from the soap dispenser. It's also been removed from the tap and let's just check the flush button here on the toilet. Yep, that's all gone as well. So let's just now check the light switches and the door handle. So you can see here that they've missed the door handle. The mark is still there the next morning. And on the light switch, the mark is still there as well. So they've missed the light switch and the, and the door handle. They have done the, uh, the taps and the toilet flash button. So that gives you a really good idea as to um, how effective the cleaning is being done in the evenings. So there you have it. It's a very cost-effective way, very simple. Uh, anyone on the team can do it. 
and it keeps your uh, cleaners accountable to make sure they're doing those touch points each and every night.